Now let's create a large scoop along the side of the car and we'll extract the door. So if we take a look at our car here, you can see that there's this large scoop detail. It kind of tapers from the front of the door here all the way back in here so that this would be the most recessed part here. So we need to create that using our polygon geometry here. And the first thing we need to do, if we go into our side view, we can see that our uh, vertices don't really match up with where we need to create that geometry. So the first thing we're going to do is actually kind of redraw those a little bit in order to follow these lines that we need to use to extrude those in. And as we were doing before, I'm going to make sure that I'm going to just move those along the normal. And it's along U and V. Uh, so I'm going to just pull these points and start matching up this uh, line here. You can see that the top line, because of how we built this guy, is already matched up. So we don't need to worry about him, uh, them rather. We're just going to worry about drawing these in here. So I'm just going to grab these points. And then you can look down here. And looks like we need to move these up a little bit. So I'm just going to move those into position. There we go. And you can see that this is where we want it to kind of start. This is our the front of our door also. So it's going to be really important to get some geometry right there. So I'm going to move these, kind of find the closest line here, and move those into uh, alignment here where I want them. And I'll pull these all the way over. And I'll pull that one over, and we'll get to those a little bit uh, in a little bit. Now we'll actually make going up our perspective and take a look here. There's only two more, so while we're there, we might as well just go ahead and move those over to uh, position there. And that's going to help us to uh, cut out this door when we're ready to do that. There we go. And just grab those. And now we've got our door kind of defined here. Just make sure that's nice and smooth here. Let's go back and check our bottom part here. I think these need to come up just a little bit. And maybe this one as well. Okay, so you can see that what we're creating here if you look at how what the faces that are defined by these edges, you can see that that's enclosed within that scoop right there. Okay, if you want to, you can st straighten these out just a little bit. But uh, you don't really need to do that. So now we're going to go in and grab these faces. And let's see, I think I want to go ahead and grab all these. right here and just continue and just just select all those faces that we've now uh, enclosed in what we've drawn here if we take a look in our perspective you can see the the faces that we've picked here all right i think i'd like uh looking at this it looks a little bit uh sloped it's kind of hard to see on the image here but i think i want that to be a little bit straighter so I'm going to just straighten that out a little. I don't want there to be kind of that um, that uh, convex look there. So straighten that out a bit. There we go. Now I'm going to just uh, grab all those faces again. There we go that one. Alright, so I want to make sure I go back into my uh, object or world here. Alright, so now we want to go ahead and extrude this, and so to do that we're going to use another one of our polygon tools. So make sure we're in our polygons here. Under uh, Edit Mesh, I'm just going to Extrude, and I'm going to hit Control Shift, and add that to my shelf here. So I'm just going to extrude that, it's going to give me that uh, manipulator and I just want to let's actually shrink that down a bit. I hit the minus key. And this is our local mode. 
uh, and I'm going to actually go into world, so it's going to use the world axes uh, to, to extrude that. So you can see that this axis now matches up with this world axis, and I'm going to just extrude that back in X. Okay. Now right now I'm looking at this back part, because this is the most recessed part uh, of our little scoop here. But we don't want the whole thing to be recessed like that. So I'm just going to hit on my little, uh, click on my rotation axis here. And I'm going to rotate this whole thing in, in Y. Just to get a little bit of a slope there. And pull it back out in X. And what I want to do is just get a nice slope and gradually bring these points out so that they are flush with the points right here. Okay. So bring those out a little bit. Looks pretty good. Let me see how close these are. And those are close enough, I think. So you can see that now that tapers back from this side all the way back into there. So now what I want to do is I actually want these to I want to combine these back to the original point. So I'm just going to grab these points and transform them and I'm going to hit my V key to snap those back to the original points. Okay, I'm going to just do that all the way down this row that we've just extruded here. Get all those. And then I'm just going to grab those and we're going to merge those together. So I'm going to add that to my shelf. It's under Edit Mesh, I'm right here, Merge. And this is just going to combine those vertices. So merge those. Let me just select all these and do a merge. Okay. So that's left us with uh, a couple of triangles here, but we'll take care of those. Okay, so we've got that scoop extruded in. So now um, what we want to do is we're going to be adding some resolution along here to, so that when we sub-D this, it's going to be nice and tight and be the right shape that we want. So what we want to do is, I think we want to cut out this door. Okay, so anything that you can separate um, is going to enable you to isolate the geometry uh, when you add that so that you're not carrying the geometry all the way up here in places that you might not want it. So it's going to give us points where we can cut that geometry, uh, cut it off. Okay. And that'll make a little more sense as we go through. But I'm just going to grab these, all the faces that define our door. And that's not going to be all the faces that we just extruded. It's going to be, looks like, actually, let me look at this here. Looks like that's right here. So it looks like we may need to actually redraw these a little bit. So we can do that by just using the same process that we use to draw our scoop. And you can see moving along normal, we're working in, inside this scoop here. And that's on a, on, a, uh, on an angle, obviously. So using this move along normal is helping us to keep that, that angle. Okay. You could also go in here and uh, add an edge as well. If you wanted to do that, I'm just going to move these in this, into position here. Uh, these on the edge, you can see that uh, if we still try to move those together, the two normals aren't moving exactly. If we look at it in this view, they aren't moving exactly the same. So in this case, we could do just one at a time. And we want to make sure that we keep our angle on this one because it's at the uh, the corner here. It's not on the face, so it's not behaving exactly as we would we would hope. And just move those. There we go. And we're just trying to get that door geometry sort of moved into position here. Grab this guy, move him over. And we're still uh, relatively low res at this point. So even moving these points, uh, if you mess up, 
you're going to be able to fix it fairly easily so just be just be a little bit cautious and let's go ahead and move these points too it's hard to see in this picture where the actual door uh, where the actual door geometry is but I think it's going to I think it's going to curve a little bit uh, up around here match up right there I believe so we'll go ahead and move that geometry into where we want it okay alright so we've got our door pretty well defined let me just move this in just a little bit there we go so now you look at this and you can space these out a little if you want to looks like this needs to come out just here so now if we go into our side view and I'm going to just select the door geometry which I believe is right there and these guys and these guys all the way up to the front of the door Let's go ahead and check that. Make sure we got that selected. And now we can just separate that. And what we need to do to to, uh, to break this out is to actually use an extract. And that's going to extract all the faces that we have selected from our current geometry. So if I do extract, and let's go ahead and, while I'm here, I'll just add that to our shelf here. I'm going to just extract that. And now you can see that I've got my door. I'm going to just delete that history. My door geometry is separated, and now I have this nice frame piece that the geometry matches up perfectly with the door, uh, and yet it's a separate piece. All right. So in the next lesson, we're actually going to go in, if we look at this drawing here, we're going to go in and draw out using the same kind of techniques. We're going to draw out this bottom scoop. It's a little more complex, but we're going to draw that out and start extruding that in as well.